From LA Late Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Afternoons LA Late. It's a big afternoon of Afternoons LA with incredible great news about that $3.5 trillion recon that passed. And your forced stimulus check update of 2021 in this recording will go over that recon that'll pay you upwards of $15,000 with cluster number one pass, including hazard pay. And the provision being proposed to be added, $25,000 of cash to you. Deliciousness. Then the second cluster pass, home repairs. Yeah, totally free. And then the provision proposed to be added, $250 billion for my seniors and my people on disabilities. Then cluster number three, checks passed, including more checks for seniors. And then, of course, that MSC check that's being proposed to be added in there. The latest details are unfolding by the hour with a new $250 billion provision that doesn't concern you coming out. Coming out. So you know what that means. That could mean more cash for your items. And this is as a possible deal with Joe Manchin is eating up. Breaking news, brand new in the deal making today. Then and also more student loan debt have been forgiven. It's incredible. Then we turn to the exciting details as COLA is being raised. And this is not the only raise you're getting for benefits for SSDI and SSDI and so seniors. We have all the incredible details as we go into a big afternoon's broadcast. Then we turn to the big exciting news as more money is coming out from Third Stimulus and viewers from Third Stimulus are getting upwards of $80,000. I want you to spike it and get all this big sums of money because we got a big recording with a lot of breaking news. Totally brand new today. Yes, more deal making with Joe Manchin for the recon because the recon looks very close. We got a big broadcast and it starts right now on Afternoons at a Light. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. I hope you're having a beautiful day and hope the weather is as good where you are. It has been crazy weather here in Santa Monica, California. Freezing cold in the morning, like in the 40s and 90 degrees in the middle of the day. I don't know what is going on, but I'm loving it. <laughs> in this recording, I hope you have good weather as well. Jump in the live chat. We're going to go over the incredible details of cluster number one's checks pass, cluster number two's checks pass, and cluster number three's checks pass, which will collectively pay you about $15,000. Then a proposal, the first add-on being proposed, $25,000 for you, then an additional $250,000 in $250 billion in the second add-on from Bob Casey, and then the third add-on of those MSCs. We have all the breaking news of now several deal makings for Joe Manchin. It's huge. This is more deal making you're going to hear in this recording different than what was even going on yesterday. These deal makings include the entire provisions about what's going on with climate. I'll explain in this recording. Then we have more student loan debt forgiveness. Wow, incredible great news. We have the big money for cola races. Wow, it's getting a deliciousness. And then we got the big money that no one saw coming and it is a third stimulus paying more money out the door and we got uh, details about fist stimulus oh boy three raises for fist stimulus we got a big broadcast stay with me to the very end i'm very excited for you it looks like they're gonna get this recon done and this is ally subscribe america's only 24 hour day seven days a week financial news channel in america live in the morning taped in the afternoons coming up next is evenings ally is a brand new show today and then we got our hit shows after that. Our new hit show is Evenings Countdown, which follows right after Evenings LA. It's at 6 o'clock. And then we got new shows at 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, all the way to the new morning, about four stimulus. They are back from back in the day, but they are so helpful. So subscribe, like this video, and consider becoming a member. Let's go right into the incredible details of the three clusters that are passing. Now, let's understand. 
the recon is checks for you. Checks for single individuals, checks for a married couple, checks for seniors, SSI, SSDI, red states, blue states. It's all money for you, and it amounts to about $15,000. Over three clusters that have so far been paid, uh, been passed. Let's go over the first cluster and starts with this one. Hazard pay, then up to $4,000 of elder care. Wow, incredible great news. How much is this? How does it work? Let's go over the details. First, hazard pay. They're going to broaden their earned income tax credits so more people are eligible for it and increase the amount of money for those essential workers. Then elder care, up to $4,000 a year. For elder care, up to $4,000 a year for young children. Then they're going to have free money to repair the home if the home is in a low-income community. Yes, this is free money for you to do home repairs. Then they're going to get $51,000 of M. MSC checks in there. This is cluster number one of three clusters passed in that House sub subcommittee. $51,000 of MMCs. This is the CTC, uh, the CTC, the child tax credit. Broaden the eligibility, increasing the amount of money. Up to $300 every month, every year for up to 18 years per child. That is an incredible $51,000. Then they got grants to the university, grants to the college student, and the Pell's grant made tax free. Wow. And then finally, they got money for bikes, trucks, and cars, all electric. 15% for the purchase price of a new electric bike, $7,500 for a new electric vehicle, personal use, and a little bit more for business use, and a little bit more for a truck. That's the first of three clusters passed that will pay you about $15,000 when it becomes law. I will be here to guide you through getting all that big sums of money. But now let's go to the first add-on that is being proposed to go on top of that. That first add-on is $25,000, and it comes from Maxine Waters. It is $25,000 of hard, cold cash. It's not something on the back end. It's all on the front end. It's literally in your hands. What is it for? The purchase price of a new home. For first-time home buyers, the federal government will give you up to $25,000. This is huge. Where would they likely do this? I think they would likely do it during escrow. Right before you're about to close for escrow, the federal government would pay $25,000 in your name to the name of the seller. Incredible great news. Now let's turn to the big exciting details of that second cluster, which includes home repairs and paid leave. Wow. This is incredible. Remember, everything in this recon is life in general. It's not pandemic pandemic related. So you qualify for this money. Let's go over the second cluster. And yeah, there's more home repairs in there as well. They got paid family medical leave. How much is this? $1,700 a week. If you make $70,000 or more per year, split in half, $800 a week if you make $35,000 or more per year. Let's say you make $15,000 a year, then that would be $400 a week. Pay family leave. You have to stay home because your wife is pregnant. Pay medical leave. You have to stay home because your son broke his leg. They got household tax credits, child care tax credits, free community college, pre-kindergarten, and then they got money to repair the home. What is this home repair? This is for everyone, not just low-income homes, and it's for weatherizing your home. Wow. Definitely need to weatherize your home. Always weatherize your home, especially if the uh, moderate Democrats are on the roof. <laughs> As I always say, keep the moderate Democrats out of the House, and whenever possible, keep them out of the Senate. <laughs> there we go. In a second, we're going to go to the third cluster of checks, but now let's go to the second add-on, and it comes from Senator Bob Casey, the 61-year-old Democrat from Pennsylvania. You're going to see in this recording a lot of items in the three clusters passed for seniors. But Bob Casey wants to add more money in there as well. And what does he want to add? $250 billion of money for seniors. What would this be? It's for seniors and disabilities that would run through basically the states. How it would work? What is the idea of it? The idea of it is home health care, for example. Home health care is a fortune. A lot of people cannot afford it. People who are seniors are people on disability. So what do they do? They have their son and daughter stay home from work and no longer work and take care of their parents because home health care is too expensive. So what Bob Casey is going to do is going to give fortunes to the states so that they can offer you home health care totally free with a licensed professional better than even your son and daughter. And then your son and daughter can live their life and they want to go work, they can go into the workplace, alleviating labor shortage. Incredible great news. And with that, we go to the third cluster of checks. And those third cluster of checks has more money in there for seniors. And I have a world exclusive about this, courtesy, of course, from Bob Casey as well. And this third cluster of checks. Let's go over the deliciousness. Here we go. We got free school meals for all checks. 
tax break checks, cheaper prescription medication checks, greener farming checks for elections, checks for free internet, clean energy. Then we got work or protect. We got uh, checks for independent contractors. We got Medicare checks. We got checks for seniors, dental, vision, and hearing care. And here we go. The incredible details starts with several items in this third cluster. Well, Bob Casey, in a world exclusive I can now report, is looking to drop the Medicare eligibility age in this third cluster from 65 to 60. Wow, that is incredible. And that is how they get it done. Two of the checks in this third cluster I particularly like, which one, which is free internet, would be instant to you. How you do, just reach out to your city, county, state, say, I want that free internet. What's the username? The username is $12 ice cream. The, the password is Mansion Munchies. <laughs> and then the other second one I particularly like is the cheaper prescription medications. Now let's go to the third add-on. And you know what that third add-on is? MSCs. MSC is the third add-on after the $25,000 from Maxine Waters for the buy of a new home and the $250 billion from Bob Casey for elder care and people on disabilities. And now the MSCs. The incredible great news is we have actually two, actually three incredible items of great news today about the MSCs. First, later in this video, stay, stay with me after the commercial break. You can learn that nearly $250 billion has been freed up. What? <laughs> yes. $250 billion was supposed to go to something else in the recon. Apparently has now been freed up. Whoa, this is big. I'm going to explain why that is big, and that can now be used for MSCs. Number one. Number two. We have an incredible statement that came in going into the weekend that came from uh, the number one senator's office in D.C. The number one senator for your recon ha sent this incredible message over. And this message is from the chief of staff. It's for the chief of staff from the number one senator for your recon. And it now reports the following. We now have in total between Congress and senatorial offices received more contacts of advocacy from L8 and the Purple Power than the number of signatures on the American petition. Wow. More about that second. This comes as Chuck Schumer's office has said he's going to put a monthly stimulus check in there. This is not one, but several times Schumer's office has confirmed that to viewers of this channel. In fact, another viewer got that on this last Friday as well. Here's Debbie Applegate. The week before that was Donnie's wife. Last, the end of last week, we had another viewer. Let's go over how they add in these provisions to a $3.5 trillion recon. The $3.5 trillion recon is a package, not a bill. It passed in a subcommittee, which is below the actual House floor. It's not the House itself. Several weeks ago by Sheila Jackson, the number two in the Progressive Caucus. $3.5 trillion as a package that has three clusters of checks in there, three clusters of checks in there, that'll pay you about $15,000. But there's add-ons now proposed. Maxine Waters, $25,000 for the House. Bob Casey's $250 billion for elders and disabilities, and the MSCs. How do they add things on there? On the House side or on the Senate side? They have several opportunities on the House side. First, they can add it into the package before it goes over to the House floor and becomes a bill. Then, after, after we have a House bill, if it's still not in there, they can add it in there after we have a House bill, but before we have a House vote. So the House Democrats can look at it and say, you know, I'm not going to vote in favor of this unless we change some things. I want to add some stuff in there. That's how they can add, add it on the House side. But the big one is the Senate side. A two-day event called the Vote Arama. I know it just sounds like you got to take out your bell-bottom jeans to enjoy this, but you don't. <laughs> just let Mitch take out his. I mean, I mean, think I think he wears them every day of the week. So I mean, I, it just it's just he's he's caught in the nineteen seventies. Sort of his economics as well, uh, <laughs> and his prices of goods and you know, everything is just, his numbers are just caught back. You know, forty years ago, uh, fifty years ago. So. <laughs> There we go. But yeah, in the two-day event is called the Votorama. And during that Votorama, they just bring out their best disco tracks. And what they also do is they have the, the bill from the House land in the Senate. And they look at it and say, it's good, but it's not groovy. It's not groovy enough. And it needs to be more groovy. And so the way we're going to make it groovy is we're going to make changes to it. Groovy, darling. And that is how they make it better. 
Those changes are called amendments, and they call them for a vote. Who calls them for a vote? Chuck Schumer. Who governs the Voterama? Chuck Schumer. Who determines when things are called for a vote to add in provisions? Chuck Schumer. Who wants to add in a monthly stimulus check? Chuck Schumer. And who wants to ensure that we have beautiful looking tie-dye psychedelic shirts and bell-bottom jeans during that Voterama? Mitch McConnell. <laughs> there we go. Uh, so long as he doesn't serve us the lobster. We're all fine. <laughs> There we go. Now let's turn back to what that big chief of staff of the number one senator for your recon has said in an incredible message for the viewership of this channel. Three million of you have now made the phone call, but they say to keep on making that phone call. We now have, everyone in Congress is amazed by the outpouring of touching stories from LA, the Chief of Staff Report writes. Now they have, uh, the viewer, uh, viewer of this channel writes after having a conversation with the Chief of Staff. Now they have received more than what has been called a bunch of signatures with the American petition. And now they have a better understanding of how the Americans are trying to make it through the pandemic. Congress now has heartbreaking stories because of Allied. And they have the voice of the people in you, Allied, across the nation. And you have become too loud to be ignored. Well, I really appreciate that. And there comes the last sentence. And the last sentence is a personal message to me from that chief of staff. And remember, chief of staff is the number one person in the Senate's office, or in the Senate office, in the Washington branch, the only more person more important is the senator himself. Here is what the chief of staff says: Please continue, Allied, your encouragement for the continued advocacy as the professional voice, Allied, of the people you have become until this becomes law. Thank you so much. So, what this is basically saying is, we need to advocate, advocate down to the finish line until it becomes law. In the second half of this video, we got a lot of new stuff. We have more deals. These, on top of the deals I've been telling you over yesterday, more deals being done with Joe Manchin. I love that there's deals. I love that they are uh, deals that benefit us, and I love that they're figuring out how to get this done. These are more deals than even covered yesterday. Then we have the student loan debt forgiveness. We have the incredible details of COLA. Because guess what? You're going to get two other lifts if you're on SSI and SSDI as well. And senior benefits. Oh boy, it's getting delicious. I'll have those details and more. But first, here's a little bit about the community page. I'll be back with you in 60 seconds as Afternoons LA continues. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues right now on Afternoons at LA as a possible deal is in the works with Joe Manchin. And we have a new deal provision coming up in this recording. This is a brand new one on top of the one previously reported on this channel. Then more student loan debt has been forgiven. It's incredible. Is this you? I'll have the latest details. And more could be coming this next week. Then Cola getting a big raise. But this is not the only time your benefits are going to go up. I'm going to show you the two other times they're going to go up thereafter. We got a big broadcast in the second half. We'll be coming back over to those monthly stimulus checks. We'll go over what you need to know going into a big week. We have the exciting great details of the third stimulus which is now paying viewers out big sums of money and how you 
are going to learn from one person who got $36,000 this week. He started the week at zero, he ended the 36000 This is a common occurrence, and I'm going to show you how to get big money on this channel. So subscribe. A 400,000 subscribers a YouTube record. I want you part of this incredible family. Hit that subscribe button right now. Like the video and become a member. I'm really excited for you because the shows from 7 o'clock all the way to 4 a.m. in the new day are all about for stimulus now. A lot of shows and show every hour on the hour across the board on this channel. Let's turn to the big surprise that no one saw coming. And that big surprise is the student loan debt forgiveness. Student loan debt forgiveness got an incredible round of surprises and it's just absolutely incredible. Wrong graphic. <laughs> there we go. Wrong graphic. There we go. Student loan debt forgiveness. Boy, this is huge. And what happened? What happened was the president had initially forgave some student loan debt for individuals who became disabled after graduation. That was a few weeks ago. Then, just a few days ago, the president forgave two more rounds of student loan debt. First, forgave student loan debt for individuals who go into or went into the nonprofit sector after graduation from college for 10 years. Wow, your debts are now wiped away. But the big one that no one saw coming is individuals who went into the public sector for more than 10 years after graduation, your student loan debts are now forgiven. What is this? If you went to work for the city, the county, the state, or the federal government, at least 10 years after graduation, your debts are forgiven. This is huge. This is huge. Um, and how does this work? Well, for example, let's say you went to work for Department of Transportation, you're a public school teacher, you're a sanitation driver, your debts are now forgiven. One viewer learned it live on air two days ago on Morning's Countdown. He was in the live chat and he was just watching a video about stimulus. He did not expect to hear anything about student loan debt. And he said, sir, I've been a prison guard for the federal prisons for 20 years since graduation. What's going on with my debt? I said, your debts are forgiven, sir. <gasps> forgiven? I said, yes, they're now forgiven. There you go. Incredible great news. And with that, let's go to the other big part of news that's happening just today, which is another deal with Joe Manchin. Uh, you heard the first deal. I'm going to show you the second deal. And you're going to like the second one because it frees up cash for you. <sighs> just a little bit of cash. $250 billion of cash. Whoa. Okay. So let's go over the first deal with Joe Manchin. And why are we doing a deal with Joe Manchin? Let me explain that as well. So we have a recall, $3.5 trillion. The progressives want everything in there, but the moderates want three changes. One, Joe Manchin wants us to change some of the, the climate things in the recon. Number two, Chris and Sinema wants to change some of the prescription medication in the recon. And number three, they the moderate Democrats want to reduce the recon from $3.5 trillion to a number in the low twos. We can get that done. I'm showing that to you next in just a second. But what about Joe Manchin on the climate? Now, for example, when we talk about climate, it's important to remember that climate is not the sky's blue and the beach is uh, sparkling green. No, no, no. Climate refers to things like clean energy, coal, natural gas, uh, helium, things like that. And Joe Manchin is from the state of West Virginia, which is very big on a lot of different climate. And one of their biggest industries in West Virginia is fossil fuels. So it came out before the weekend that the president and the White House had come up with a big compromise, a big deal offered for Joe Manchin. Apparently, Joe Manchin loves it. What is it? It is taking an existing provision in one of the three clauses that has passed and just changing the language a little bit so that the businesses in Joe Manchin state qualify for this money, and it's lots of money. And what are they doing? They're just modifying some language to allow Joe Manchin's top constituents to be eligible for the money. This sounds brilliant, and it sounds like a deal made in heaven. The changes under consideration would be changing coal and natural gas power plant uh, words in the recon to receive billions of dollars in financial incentives so that fossil fuel providers in Joe Manchin's state would qualify. Wow, that sounds done. I mean, it just sounds absolutely done. Now, today, a new report came out 
also that there was another provision. There's a lot of climate on the recon that I don't really go over because it doesn't concern you. But there was another provision. It's actually in my notes. When I go over the third cluster, I just skip over it because it doesn't concern you. Uh, I say clean energy sometimes quickly on camera. That's actually where Joe Manchin is having also another issue. And he is chairman of the Energy Committee. And this, uh, at the moment, clean energy had a lot of provisions in there. A lot of provisions. One of them is a tax credit um, of $8 billion for certain types of businesses. Um, and he he is focused on power plants, and he wants a nuclear credit program worth a certain amount of money. Very interesting. But so what is talked what is talked about today, of one of the many provisions in that third cluster, which I skip over because doesn't concern you. One of the many climate provisions, Joe Manchin wants it out, and the White House has said yes. <laughs> Take it out. Take it out. We'll leave the other ones in. We got enough of, of the other climate provisions in there. Take it out. Well, this is big news for you. Why? It's big news for you. It's big news for Bob Casey. Big news for Maxine Waters. Why? Because the provision is $250 billion. Yeah, three letters, MSC. It just frees up a lot of cash. You know, when I talked about the pre private previous deal with Joe Manchin, it wasn't freeing up cash. This one that takes that Joe Manchin wants something taken out, take it out. It frees up cash for us. I love it. All right, let's turn to the other deal making in the books that's happening. And that is getting the $3.5 trillion recon down to $2 trillion. Very, very simple. How do they do it? Very basic. They take the recon programs and offer them for less number of years. It was back in July that this story started. And back in July, I told you uh, Bernie Sanders went into negotiations to do a recon before there was a recon. And he said, I want to do a recon. They said, how much? Seven trillion. They said, no, Bernie, we're not doing seven trillion. He said, okay, I'll do it to 3.5 trillion. I'll just shorten the duration of the programs. Remember that? We didn't know at the time how long the programs were at seven trillion. We didn't know how long the programs are now at 3.5 trillion. And at the time in July, I said, I have a feeling that the programs at seven trillion were 20 years, and that the programs now at 3.5 trillion are at 10 years. Well, going into the weekend, we had that confirmation come from Jai Alapal and the White House that when Bernie went in asking for seven trillion, he had 20 year programs at issue. Why so long? Because if the president wanted the programs to run many generations far after he is on this planet, he wanted these generation these programs to last for 20 years. Couldn't get the seven trillion, so then they cut the programs to run for 10 years, not cutting the payment of the money, but just shortening the duration of how long they run. 10 years. So the great news is that suddenly the universe of all planets have aligned. Pelosi, Jalapa, and Allied all agree upon the same subject matter, which is shorten the duration of the programs even more. And then you got the magic number somewhere in the low two trillion. And how do you do it? You basically go to about a five-year program. And moreover, the comments from Jalapa and Pelosi going into this week into the weekend are much the same that you and I have said for many months on this channel. We need big checks right now. We need big checks next year, and we probably need big checks the year after that. After that, we'll just sort of figure out what goes on, but we don't need to be focusing on eight years from now. We only need to be focusing on nine years from now with watered-down checks right now of 10 cents. No, no, no. We need huge checks right now, and then we'll figure out what to do in more than five years from now. And that's what they all said. First, Pelosi said, this is how we're going to get it done. Uh, what? Yeah, Pelosi's agreeing with the progressives of me on how to trim the recon. So now let's go over the incredible comments and Pelosi's statement of advocacy saying we got to do the recon because it has to get done. Yeah, suddenly Pelosi is just becoming Nirvana. <laughs> let's go over the incredible comments. Um, first, Ber um, the great news was that about a week ago, Bernie was saying we need to hear from the moderates what they want because they're not telling us what, what they want. That was a quote. Now we hear it. I, I love that there's deals being made because it means also that the moderates have now said what they want changed and we're making those changes. Uh, Pelosi had said on Tuesday that we have to make some important decisions over the next few days so we can proceed. Well, 
she also said, we need to trim the duration. And Jalapal said, we'll do that. Uh, Jalapal said, obviously, we want to work as quickly as we can. And Pelosi said, the recon will get done because it must get done. <gasps> wow. Great words. Then Pelosi really focused on the climate because you now see how the climate is really the place to get the recon done. Shortening the duration of the recon is an easy step. It's a 10-second step. But going through the provisions of what Joe Manchin likes and doesn't like in the climate is a little bit more of an effort. And when you're done, you got a deal. And she says, essential the recon is the climate part of the legislation. We have to get this done. I agree. Great words, Pelosi. And then Alex Padilla, who is the Democrat from California, is saying we're not removing the climate at all. So great words is that. Bob Casey saying people are saying they should have done, been doing more of this a long time ago. We haven't done this really in 40 years, says Bob Casey. He's right. And then we have the incredible comment from Jalapal, which says... We would rather reduce the number of years of the programs because the universality of the benefits, the checks, and the immediacy, getting the money quickly, of the benefits are absolutely critical. There you go. She says, and frankly, that's more important, getting big checks right now, than having it for the entire 10 years. There you go. That was the quote that I had been exclusive reporting for you for several weeks. I had always thought that the programs were 20 years reduced to 10. Now we have the confirmation with that Jalapal quote they were. Now we have the confirmation that um, the way to sh shred the sh uh, cut the recon from 3.5 trillion is to 2 trillion. Now let's go to the incredible big surprises of that cola raise. And that cola raise is not the only raise you're getting. What's going on? I have all the latest details starting right now. Cola is going up 5 to 6% in the next few weeks. Social Security Administration is sending out letters and emails to people across the board saying, hi, your benefits are going up next year about 5 to 6%. But get ready because that's not the only time it's going to go up if fifth stimulus also becomes law. Fifth stimulus, remember, is that law is that is that proposal to reform SSI and SSDI and raise the money up. Back in July, when I was covering fist stimulus, I said, I said, we would hope that after that first lift up under fist stimulus, you would get about a 5% increase if that's where inflation is going. <laughs> At the time, I said inflation would be 5% in December, and Wall Street is saying 2%. Now it looks like inflation may be 10% in December. So I was overvaluing it. Uh, back in July, comparing it, I, I was more on the money in July than Wall Street, but now I'm undervaluing it based upon where it's going. So to, ana to analyze where your money is going, let's put four stimulus aside for just a second, because that could be confusing, because I've already covered money for seniors and the Bob Casey money for seniors. Let's put four stimulus aside, and let's just talk about this and this stimulus. First, your benefits are going to go up this 5 to 6%. Not just one time, but lifetime. Because once your benefits step up, they never step down. This is coming in a few weeks. This is law. But this stimulus is proposed legislation. And when would that kick in? Let's go over all the details. Under this stimulus, they would raise everyone's benefits up again. SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, Veterans Benefits. That would be the second raise up. Then they'd apply a new benchmark. When, if they get this done, let's say in January, February, the new benchmark would be applied in December. What's the new benchmark? Inflation. What is it replacing? COLA. It would replace COLA next year. Good news, because COLA next year may be zero, and inflation is certainly not going to be zero. It's going to be 2 to 3% next December 2022. So how would this work? You would literally get three lifts up if this stimulus becomes law. Wow. First, you're going to get your raise up for COLA. Then you're going to get another raise on top of that for that fifth stimulus one-time raise for SSI all the way over to Social Security Administration. Then you'll get another raise on top of that based upon the benchmark later next year. These are all on top of each other. One does not replace the other. That is absolutely incredible. Then they're going to move the asset cap team back into a 1980s law that says you can't have more than $3,000 a hand. It's going to go away, and now you'll be able to wear Cardinal's Red. <laughs> Sorry, kidding. Uh, they're going to remove the marriage penalty, and they're going to remove the asset cap. 
asset cap and the income cap. The income cap is a rule dating back to the 1960s. It says you can't work and stay on benefits. And finally, the marriage penalty is going to go away. And love is going to win and you'll be able to do a pair dance and get married like Rob and Sandy and dance at your own wedding in the pair dance. <laughs> love is going to win and you'll no longer fear a loss of benefits. That's Fist Stimulus. And with that, let's turn to the big surprise that no one saw coming, which is additional $36,000 for one viewer. Yes, you went last weekend into the weekend meeting Prina. Remember Prina? Prina started last two weeks ago with $0 from the channel, and she ended the week with $6,000. How did she do that? By listening to my recordings in which I said there's more money going out to your states for rent and utilities. Third stimulus. And I said there's an additional $13 billion that's featured in the newsletter. And she got it. She writes, thank you, L.A. I want to thank you so much. When you mentioned the extra $13 billion going to the States, I immediately pounce. I reach out to the city of Austin. I got it. No, I, now I have money from November through January, $6,000 for eight months. Thank you so much. But this last week, another viewer did the same thing. And I told you, if you had gotten money before from this channel, you can get more money. And how much did he get? He got $36,000. Yes, Mark, $51,000 Mark, got an additional $36,000 for rent, bringing his grand total from this channel to $90,000. Get a pen, paper, cell phone ready. Today's your day. I'm going to show you how to get big money for rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, money for food, clothing, appliances, holiday gifts, and other items across the board. And we're going to start with the money for rent, utilities, and mortgage assistance. I'm going to show you six places to reach out to. You reach out to all six. Each has different eligibility. They have different pots of money. Then listen to the keywords I say in this video. Each word is important and get ready to pounce with the nonprofits because, boy, they're wonderful. They're coming up as well in a second. Here you go. Let's get those six, let's get those six places. City Hall, City House Authority. County Hall, County House Authority. State Hall and State House Authority. And the keywords you're going to say are rent assistance because of COVID. Mortgage or utility assistance because of COVID. Now, how much money is people getting for rent? Let's look at it. Wow. Purple Hawks, members of this channel, have gotten anywhere from twenty to $27,000. There is Nisi at $20,000, Elizabeth at $27,000, but now Mark getting $36,000 more for rent on top of his $25,000. Yes, a lot of people are getting $40,000 of rent. You should as well. Here is the money for utilities. If you have five utility companies, reach out to all five. Mark's brother-in-law is getting $15,000 for utilities. Then SNAP. SNAP is money for food. You want to get it from the Department of Agriculture. What is it? It's money for food, and boy, is it a lot. Everyone's benefits are going up an average of 25% a lifetime automatically starting this month. Mark's brother-in-law is going to $26,000 a year because of this channel. Get combos. Get as many different items as you can. Here's uh, Nisi. Here's Nancy at thirty-two thousand. Here's Mark. He's at eight thousand dollars now. Here's Lorraine. She is going to one hundred and six thousand dollars. Get as many items as you can. Now let's turn to the nonprofits. Boy, the nonprofits are incredible. First, the nonprofits pay for the same items that Third Stimulus pays for. So if you reach out to all six places and you are having an eligibility prof problem, reach out to the nonprofits. Remember, there is money in every single state, every single county. You need to reach out to those six places. There is 100% guaranteed money in every city, county, and state across the country. But if you find the money and then they say, no, you're not eligible, then reach out to the nonprofits. They do the same items for third stimulus generally, just with different eligibility. And they are the following five nonprofits. United Way, Salvation Army, Community Action, Catholic Charities, and St. Vincent de Paul. Next, it's important to remember that the nonprofits pay for items that the federal government doesn't pay for. And they do incredible things across the board. For example, they can help homeless people get into shelters. They provide clothing when you can't afford clothing. They provide things to keep you warm and to keep you cool. If it's the summer, keep you cool. If it's the winter, keep you warm. Like they provide space heaters, furnaces, portable heaters. And then if it's the summer, you know, um, fans and also small refrigerators. Next, 
some places for Salvation Army are still doing holiday gifts. Some have run out for holiday gifts. Some are doing holiday meals. So I've uh, Salvation Army is Army is different all across the country. So reach out to them right away. Some people have said the Salvation Army just ran out of gifts the last week. It's not going to continue much longer because it's we're getting almost into late October. I've been covering it since early October. But let's go over those five nonprofits again. United Way, Salvation Army, Community Action, Catholic Charities, and St. Vincent de Paul. Next, the refund check from unemployment. Back from your state due to overpayment and a computer error? Yes. Average payment is $2,000 to $3,000, $5,000. Reach out to your state to track it. And then the refund check back from IRS due to the overpayment of unemployment benefits. Mark, you got a con, got it. Michael got it. If you've gotten any of these sums of money, post in the live chat. Finally, if you haven't become a member, what are you doing? The link is under the video. All those people with that emoji next to their names, they're members. Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. The LA newsletter sent out by me, personally written by me, delivered via the YouTube member alert system and the LA late alert system, which is totally free. It's also in the description of this video. It's at news.la.com forward slash alerts. And we now have two new volunteers who can help you find those LA alerts if you can't find them or the newsletter. The newsletter is important because it features all the big money under first, second, third symbols for you to get. It's important to understand, when you look at the three clusters of these recon checks, they're going to pay this channel's viewers about $15,000. That's before they add on the Maxine Waters $25,000 or the Bob Casey's $250, $250 billion for seniors or the MSC checks. That's before any add-ons. And what I know better than anyone else is how to get your money. As soon as third stimulus became a law, people were focused on the $14 stimulus check. I said, focus on the big money I can get you under third stimulus. And I said at the time I can get you about four fifteen thousand dollars. Average view of this channel has gotten forty thousand dollars from Third Summers. Have you gotten those sums of money from Third Summers yet? If you haven't, you need to become a member. Become a member and learn about the big sums of money in all these stimulus packages. There's a lot of money in there. Knowledge is king, and knowledge results in money. When you learn about where things are and how things you can get, then you get the money. All you have to do. Is make the phone call. I can show you, I can teach you, and I can educate you, but I can't make the phone call for you. And when we look at Johnny, we look at Mark, we look at Lorraine, we look at all these people, Nisi, these people got money paid from at least several places. They didn't make one phone call and call it a day. They got paid some of them by seven different places. You can apply in multiple places. You can apply, you can get money from one place and go get more money in another place. And if you got money for rent before on this channel, get it again. A lot of viewers have now gotten three to four rounds of rent because of this channel. And there we go. We got a big show coming up later today. It's Evenings Allied. And then we got shows at six o'clock with, with, with Evenings Countdown, our new hit show. We are streaming Simulus at seven o'clock. Sir Loyan at 8 o'clock, and then we got the L8 overnight shows at 9, 10, 11, 30, and then it returns at 3 a.m., 3.30, until we go into early mornings L8 tomorrow morning. I want you part of these incredible four stimulus shows all night long, on the hour, by the hour, at the top of the hour. Very easy. Join me throughout the night. I'll be jumping in the live chat. And with that, subscribe. 400,000 subscribers on YouTube record. I want you part of this incredible family. Hit that subscribe button right now. Like the video, two, 3,000 likes, and consider becoming a member so you get all this incredible information and you pounce and get the big money that's yours. Stay informed, stay focused, and stay with Ally for more.